Hey, uh, YouTube, it's Double Play Colors Free. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, episode 87, I believe this is. Last episode. We worked our way around Colony Stein. I almost said 7 for some weird reason. I wonder what 7 would have been, because if there's a 6 and there's this one here, 9, that means there had to have been a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8. I wonder what happened to those. We don't exactly ever see, like, ruins or anything about those. That's actually quite interesting. She will never know about that. But yeah, in uh, this episode though, we are going to finish up just a few things around here at Colony 9 and then we'll move into Frontier Village. But the first thing I want to do is I actually want to put give items between Fiora and Melia to up up their affinity with each other to the purple. Because, well, that's needed in order for one of the quests I want to finish. So let's do this. Hey, there we go, we're at purple affinity between these two. Alright, that's all I needed to do. <coughs> With that, we can now complete a diff another quest right away. Can't do anything for that one. Then here. Increase ether, I'll equip that. Alright then. With that, we are now free to do this. First things first, we're going to change time to 9 a.m. With it being at 9 a.m., that's something that relates to around there. It has to be between, has to be around 9 a.m. But we'll first start off by hitting here. You'll remember this quest about the friendship thing between Paula and Nareen, I believe her name was, if we check at Colony 9. Yeah, Nareen. This is our next one. Wow, amazing! I guess girls really can be as good friends as boys. I hope I can make it with Noreen. If Shulk and Ryan can be good friends, me and Noreen can too. Plus, we're big girls now. We shouldn't keep arguing. I made up my mind. I'm gonna go and make it with Noreen right away. We're gonna be just... We're gonna be, uh... Be like best friends forever. With the quest updated, we go and talk to Noreen. She's running very fast. I need to speak to Shulk. Can you call him for me? Oh, we need Shulk for this. Hello. Come and see. Finally, Paula's changed her mind. Now we can get back to hanging out with each other again. Quest complete. Days 4 gem. Or days plus. Ricky level 74. Getting pretty close to moving on, uh, to being the levels I want to be for moving on. Honestly, we might end up a little overleveled for one of the bosses, but eh, it's fine. Now, if you was to come around this area at n around 9 a.m., we spoke to this guy before in the last episode. But if we talk to him around 9 a.m., what youngsters like these days? I helped a young soldier during the Mechon attack. A girl, it was. I said she could make me dinner as thanks. We ate together. It wasn't anything to write home about, but she tried her best. She went all shy when I told her how tasty it was. Her smile was the cutest thing I have ever seen. That's why I want to give her something nice. I wonder what Minnie would like. And by doing that and uh, updating the uh, chart, I believe we should get a side quest over here. And I do believe Ryan is recommended for this. Is he here already? Well, I can see him. My brain dead again. Dionys. Jane's become infatuated with a female soldier about 20 years old. She saves a lot of lives and is quite popular. But even so, should a man of his age be doing such a thing? What do you think? Love keeps the ticker going, he's too he's too old for that girl. I think the right choice is to actually pick he's too old. <laughs> it's uh it's just common sense. Exactly. He should know better at his age. Such an old fool. Chart updated. And now he's got a quest for us. I forget who's needed for this, but we should be alright. That Dionysus is getting right up in my back lately. He said I should be ashamed for chasing young girls at my age. Do you know how hurt that makes me feel? Yeah. 
Regret, then remorse? I took a long hard look at myself after it came to speak to me. Of course. Oh, it looks like it's still Ryan. It's no it's not ugh. it's no good for an old boy like you to be chasing young girls around. I see you're speaking your mind as usual, Ryan. But if you feel the same way, then that makes things simpler. That's got me thinking. I don't want the youngsters to stay to turn out like me. That's why I've decided to give the you whippersnappers a test. You have to pass it so I don't turn so you don't turn into weak adults. We gotta go and defeat an enemy. Good choice. You can't end up like me. Alright then, so said enemy we have to go and defeat. Uh, is that Magna Forest? I guess I'll come here. I don't think this quest will be very hard. The rewards were very lackluster, so this is something we could have done actually sooner than we did. And this is uh, actually a unique enemy that I've already beaten before, so yeah, this will be easy. Let's get this over with. Again, I have beaten this before, so I honestly have no reason to keep it in. Um, well, at least I'm pretty sure I've beaten this myself uh, before. You know what? If a coin appears, then I'll keep it in. If it doesn't, then beep. Nope, didn't get a coin, so we definitely did beat that enemy. Had a feeling. Alright, let's go back. The one thing I do want to point out is that uh, named NPCs actually can have multiple dialogues. Like up to two different dialogues I believe per day and sometimes, like in the case of Jan here, at certain times of the day. Which is annoying because you'll notice we spoke to him yes on the last episode but we never got to move on for like this quest and that. So uh, the one thing I wish Nintendo did do with this definitive version was that they put a speech bubble above the NPCs if it's like a new dialogue that we haven't come across. That would have made things just a little bit easier because there's probably some dialogues of a lot of characters throughout the whole game we still haven't spoken to yet. And some we'll never get to. Let's complete this off before I p point that out. So you really defeated it. Impressive. It looks like you ha I had you all wrong. Doesn't look like I need to test you anymore. I'll find some other layabout kids and turn them into responsible adults. Keep up the good work. If you ever let yourselves go, I'll be here to set you back on track. Yeah, we'll see about that if you're still here in 10 years, old man. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Sure, that might be a weak weapon, but I eh, could sell it. Now, what I was talking about before... <sighs> Time to get into something I probably should have said a little sooner. The music's probably gonna change here. Ever since the fight at the core of the Bionis, when Sansa took over and we saw the uh, saw over at Alchemoth with the High Entia, I'm afraid we lost a lot of people. All these dark squares, well dark ones, they're all of them. I'll go one by one. I can't say this one's name. Lekruga, Naraf, Lurathian. This guy we helped with the deciphering machine if memory serves me right. Areli, Lucina, Rikoff, Folaren, Donis, Daldo, Larshenin. Galvin, Kaelin, Morez, Lunara, not even children were spared, Marisa, Kaul, all these Hyentia have been transformed into Telethia. As I said, as, as they said, if you was a pure Hyentia, you turn it into a Telethia with a high concentration of ether. Doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, or even children. And with that, we're going to pay one quick visit over to Alchemoth. To get there though, you got to go for Mercy. Here at Alchemoth, once we go in. There are Telethia. All of them high level. A rail Telethia. Some flying ones.
So I fear are everywhere because, well, this was the high end tier place. We do have a reason to be here at a little bit of a later date. In fact, I think one of the quests for it is where we're heading to now, at Frontier Village. Alright, we're here. Now, if I am correct, I believe this might be the side quest I was talking about. It's not one of my planned side quests, but I think since I did just point out the high end here and showed off Alchemoth, maybe I should do this. Let's just have a quick peek. Oh. We got some uh, refuge drones. And a high end tier boy. A tail. Give me one sec. You actually want Fiora. Excuse me, can I ask you to uh, for ask you a favor? Back in the capital, our dad turned into a Telethia. Now all that's left of our family is me and my sister Sion. That is a worry. I'm coping with it, but Sion still thinks our dad is gonna come for us. I don't want to tell her the truth just yet. She should at least have some kind of momentum of our dad. I know he had a precious object buried, kept buried in the ground. A precious object? What kind of object? I don't get, I didn't get to ask him what it was. He just told me to dig it up if anything ever happened. So, gotta go and find the family picture. And look at that reward. Physical protect sex. Thank you. Dad buried it in a small fountain near the Fountain of Hope. He always used to go there. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Let's head back to Alchemoth to do this quest. This wasn't the quest I was thinking of, but it's not timed or anything, I believed. So it should be fine. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't fast travel that. It's gotta be from the sea. Alright, we're heading over here. You might recognize this area. It, we did a quest for looking for a lost son and looking for a lost daughter. It's the same spot. It's the same guy. I would say we'd fight, but I, I do believe that actually is a quest uh, from the boy. After this one, I think. But these enemies are all pretty damn tough. Ten, more than 10 levels out above us. I mean, fighting just one of these alone might be doable if I use the right team to, like, topple and all that to keep things going. I think the best team for that would probably be Shulk, Ryan, and Sharla. Sharla to keep us healed, Shulk and Ryan to keep it toppled and bring Ryan as well also for the uh, aggro and everything. That might be the best way, but I think if you end up with multiple of these in one fight, there is no way you're winning at this point. The fact as well that they all stay here in Alchemoth tells you that some of their, the memories of their past lives are still in there. So, uh, they're not fully gone. You can already see the red dot to where it was, but I, if I am correct... If... am I? No, I guess maybe he doesn't show up yet. Let's grab this. Oh, there he is! Telethia Volan. Their dad turned into that. We're out of here. And as you'll notice as well, there's a red quest on it. I think we have to fight it. Hold on. Let me uh, go to the quest log. Onto your village. Yeah. Defeat to let the evolve near the fountain. This will be difficult, and as usual, I do prefer to use the very specific team for this. So, let's see. <coughs> I've gone for Melia, Sharla, and Dunban. I don't know if this team will actually fully work, but it's worth a shot. This thing is tough. What's like a lock on it? There we go. I should do it. It's level 90. Actually, I don't know if I can beat that yet. It's what. You know what? I think Shulk and Minada armor would do it. Now I'm going to go to my original default team I talk about. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am so dumb sometimes. Let's do it. 
Let's give it a Looks shot. Like An achievement at least, unbreakable bond. Shame I've not touched it even once, because my talent gauge has a corona level. <laughs> uh, I was in that fight for a while and we did nothing. We tickled it like a feather. <laughs> There's no beating that. Yeah, that wasn't worth tr accepting that quest yet. But with unbreakable bonds, it's because we got Shulk and Ryan to max affinity. Nice. Okay, let's head back to Magna Forest. Okay, we actually want to be Fiora for this, and we're looking for a Nopon named Medi, I believe. Okay, I believe it has to be between 21 and 03 that this Nopon appears in the shopping district. Which is up here. Should be this one. Now, this quest actually has a double, is one of those option quests where you complete one, it removes the other. Whoa. Yep, that's Medi. This is area of medicine which I do not excel. Do you know what it is? It is dental treatment. And it seems that my rival Yusei is, al is also doing studies in that field. I want to be the first to perfect my dental treatment methods. Ugh. What's up? Don't tell me you have toothache. <coughs> I was getting some work done on my teeth when I... Well, I ended up with this body. Hold on, my toothache, it's gone. I can see you're not quite a hom hom. Do you mind if I examine you? No need, no need. There's nothing wrong with me. Medical advancements. I wish to implement effect dental treatment. Well, effective. I need to bring I need you to bring me two Ori's horns. I cannot let Yusus beat me to it. Now Yusus, if memory serves me right, is down below. I think that might be him there, that exclamation mark. Oh my god, I'm pressing the wrong button to jump. You're Here he is, Yusus. Hello? More and more Nopong come to me complaining about toothache. I came with good treatment, but I don't have enough materials. A few years ago, I was very Nopon. I was every Nopon port for Call of Medicine. Now, a hatchling know it all called Medi is taking all of my business. I can barely see my patients because of pain in my knees. Let's make a filling. Days of four. Thank you, Hereupon, and friends. I knew you'd do it. Before Viga mi Fang Milk Teeth, I can continue my treatments. Okay, these are two side quests that are technically connected, but you can only complete one of them. Complete one and the other one goes away, so they are timed. The best outcome is actually medical advancements with Medi, so he is who we're going to work for. So, let's head to Valak Mountain. Looks like we're supposed to go to the lower area for this as well, so let's... Doesn't seem to matter where I end up, but here seems to have more, so let's sketch to the Lazu Church. Not like you guys haven't seen me go around this area before, so I'll cut this up from here. Looks like we're facing off against these things. Let's do it. Oh, we got an affinity buff! Yay! It's between Ricky and Fiora. Nice. I guess I'll equip that. Alright, did we get anything? Iris Horn. That's what we needed. Let's go and try and get one more. Like Gun drones! Leave this to me. 
I actually forgot I still got the gun drones equipped, so I'm actually... We didn't get the uh, last horn, but I am definitely changing up Fiora's equipment to have those sword drones too equipped again. I forget what was on the other HP up. And we got the last horn. Two out of two. Let's go back. And here we are. Oh, you got the Uris horns. Let me have a look. Hmm? Yes, I can make my dental treatment device with these. I'll do it right away. You won't have to stay and watch. I think I misread that. Beached. Now I can finally show that user who's boss. Now I just need to test it out on someone with bad teeth. Quest complete. And uh, in my current real life situation, all I got to say is um, run away! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I forgot to move my arrow. Yeah, I've got two bad teeth at the moment. And it's very hard getting into a dentist right now. And I'm terrified of dentists, so it's not a very good combination! <sighs> okay, we're gonna do one last quest for this episode. We're looking for a Nopon named... I can't say the name. N Nimpa? Oops. You! 6 and 18. Ah, you're all the way down there. And Fiora is needed for the unique dialogue once again. Oh yeah, and I guess I'll point this out as well. You'll notice the other quest, as I said before, is now gone. You can only pick one of them. Nipa, and there's you say. You know the fillings I invented, I was not able to finish them, even though they use natural materials and are kind to the body. Okay. Nipa. There are two doctors in village, Dr. Medi and Dr. Yusa. We have a slight problem though. Hey, the affinity between Fiora and Dunman just went up. Oh wow, it's affinity day today. <laughs> <laughs> that might just be the uh, title of this episode. They're both good doctors, but they are at war with each other. They are both good do uh, are both good doctors, then they should be able to cooperate. Dr. Medi and Dr. Yusa are both uh, as inflexible as ether crystals. Chief Dunga told them to work together, but they do not listen. Dr. Yusa's leg have hurt him for many years, though he hides it. I think he finds it more and more difficult to walk these days. I want to get Dr. Medi to do something for Dr. Yuse. Chapter Medi. There is a way friends can bring them together. If our doctors is not if our doctor is not healthy, then it makes us uneasy. All right then, so we gotta go back and talk to Medi. So see you back up there at midnight. Oh, and also skill tree. Increase aggro when dealing damage. You know what? That's not that bad for Fiora. Well, I haven't... Because I haven't unlocked any of those ones. We are back. Well, here. You all look pretty beaten up. Would you like me to give you any of you a checkup? What? You want me to cure Yusa's leg? He's in agony with his leg? Hmm. No wonder he's not been up to annoying me recently. Okay then, no point in me hitting a man while he's down. However, it would hurt his pride to know that I cured him. So let's try one of those old Nopon charms first. There is an ancient Nopon legend which I think you need to know. We offer flowers to the Bionist at the same area of Bionist that hurts. The location must be matched the location of the injury. Yusa has pain in his knee, which turns in which in turn is on his leg, right? 
so the offering should be made on the leg of the Bionis. Now go ask Yusa about his knees. I should give you a chance to mention the flowers to him. That's kind of bizarre, a doctor saying about actual kind of like mystical healing to an extent. That's a bit iffy. Alright. Hello? What's that? What do healthy people want to talk to me for? Ugh, my leg is so sore. My thighs and knees are in terrible pain. How about using flowers? What? Flowers? Oh! An offering of flowers at the altar of the Bionis leg. You have good knowledge of the old Nopon traditions. I will prepare the flower offering. Making the offering is impossible for me though. Can I ask friends to do it? Gotta go and do the, the offerings. So we're going to be going around a Bionis leg. Ish. I believe the offerings are those weird little that things. I don't can't find the word. Okay, there's one here. Can see three of them, and the fourth one should be over there. Okay, then I'll cut to each one because we've been everywhere around Bionis leg. So I'll cut to each one. See you in a minute. Here's the first altar. I've made the offering. Let's go to the next place. Ah! Sorry about that, I've got one heck of an itchy back for some unknown reason. Okay, we're heading over here. And here's the second one. Made the offerings. Next one is down there. Alright, we're here, but we gotta watch out because that is a level 77 vision enemy. Made the offering. And now for the final place. This should be pretty easy to get to. Faster to go from the Spiral Valley. We're still nowhere near ready to move the immovable Gonzalez. And the fourth and final one. We place the flowers in all four locations. We should go ahead and tell you, sir. And just so you know, yes, I know full well that throughout this episode I probably butchered up a bunch of names. Sorry! But before we actually leave here, one thing I want to show is over here at the refugee camp. There are people here. We got two Hyentias. And there are others around as well. Anytime. Oh wow, I could have done this a while ago. I do plan to make an episode of going around heart to hearts. That episode will probably be called something of relating to heart. Is that a high end here up there? So it is. The one down th that that one over there is a uh, named one. So yeah, believe it or not, there is a very difficult quest in this area. Something you definitely are not going to beat before the main game is done. Alright, we're going back. Hey, you sir! Hello. Oh, you're back! Just as I said, my knee pain has cleared up. Thank you, friends. Hang on there, did somebody put you up to this? So it was Medi and Nepa. I owe them a debt. I suppose I'm grateful to them. Of course, I'm grateful to friends too. And now we go and talk to... Was that... Is it Medi or... No, it was you. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Sorry. Thank you. This seems to have made them forget their differences. For now. Now I can relax when I go to see Dr. Yusei. Dr. Yusei has not been cured of his stubbornness though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think you can ever cure that. Very nice. Um, let's just have a quick peek at the affinity chart in this area. Ooh, it's time. So, that will do for this episode, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed. In the next episode, we are... Can I hit the right one, please? Where is it? Area maps. God damn, my brain. Next episode, we got a few quests. Uh, we'll probably... Gonna be finishing up the remaining quests I want to do here at Frontier Village. 
because we're getting close to me wanting to actually move forward with the main story because of levels. <laughs> yeah, so hope you guys will enjoy and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye! Vengeance is on the horizon. For Mama! <laughs>